continuing on with uh, crop development, we'll focus on uh, our winter wheat growth stages in particular between 61 and 69, which is uh, flowering to end of flowering. Uh, some of the earliest planted wheat in the southwest is, uh, is finished flowering. Uh, we're wrapping up our T3 fungicide applications as we speak. Flowering lasts approximately four to five days after the initial uh, ad initially starts. Uh, the big concern with protecting the head, of course, is to uh, reduce the incidence and severity of head scab, which leads to uh, production of dawn. Uh, although the risk is low, it's never zero, and we spend the first half of the growing season basically building yield potential, focusing on things like uh, soil testing for proper nutrient applications, overall fertility, the planting date, variety selection, weed control, managing nitrogen as a system, split applications of nitrogen. Uh, we're looking at our T1, T2 uh, fungicide applications and the use, use of uh, plant growth regulators or PGRs. So those are things we focus on on the first half to build that yield potential. Then we spend the last half of the season basically protecting that yield potential, which is a continuation of plant health with our T3 fungicide application timing, and of course, uh, timely harvest practices that uh, get this crop in the bin. We're well ahead of last year. We are about five days ahead of last year and certainly about eight days ahead of normal. That places some of the earliest planting wheat uh, reaching maturity somewhere around July 9th, July 10th, so harvest shortly thereafter. So a much earlier year than, than before. Uh, the uh, wheat is progressing well ahead of last year, as I said. Uh, grain fill uh, will need moderate temperatures. We don't need very many days at 30 Celsius, so thankfully we have some moderating temperatures and some recent rainfalls will help fill that grain. We continue on with our benchmarking program. Um, we are seeing noticeable differences where we've put on uh, PGRs and higher end rates. We are conducting our final plant tissue analysis, collecting those flag leaves to submit to the lab. Uh, we're going to do, that'll be our final measurement of, of a nutrient status of the plants. Then we'll be following through with harvest information and collecting grain samples and submitting them to the lab as well, something that we don't normally do to see what the nutrient content is in the grain itself. So that's where we are at present with wheat. Uh, can be more to come as the wheat continues to develop. So uh, thanks for listening. Stay safe, stay healthy. <music>